Hello, first grade. In this lesson, we are going to be reviewing the letter M. Can you tell me what sound the letter M makes? Very good. Mmm, as in monkey. So to help us remember what sound the letter M makes, we are going to listen to a quick story about our monkey. For Muzzy the monkey, bananas are yummy. She munches so many, they fill up her tummy. When she eats, she says, mmm, 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 mmm. Bananas at bedtime? I have a hunch. Muzzy will mash them up, mush them up. Munch, 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 munch. Then, will what, then what will Muzzy the monkey do? Mmm, 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 mmm. Very good. If you look at our letter card for the letter M, we see the uppercase letter M and the lowercase letter M. You'll also notice that the letters are in black because this is a consonant letter. So for this activity, we are going to practice writing the lowercase letter M and the uppercase letter M. Then you will look at the pictures, and if the picture starts or begins with the letter M, or with the M mm sound, then you will write the letter M underneath the picture. So let's look at these three together. The first picture shows a picture of a moose. Do you hear M mm in, in the word moose? Very good. So you will write M. Mm or the letter M underneath the picture of the moose. The next picture shows a picture of a saw. Does the word saw start with the M sound? Very good, it doesn't. So we won't write anything underneath that picture. Our last picture shows a picture of some money. Money. Does the word money start with the M mm sound? Very good, so we will write the letter M underneath that picture. Then on the next page, we are going to continue looking at the pictures and listening for the M mm sound. If the picture begins or starts with the M mm sound, then you will write the letter M in this first box. If the picture ends with the M mm sound, so M mm is at the end of the word, then you will write the M in the second box. So let's look at two examples together before you do this on your own. Our first picture shows a picture of a monkey. Does monkey have M mm at the beginning or the end? It's at the beginning, very good. So we write M in the first box. And our next picture shows a picture of a ham. Ham. Does the m come at the beginning or the end of the word? Very good. Ham. It comes at the end. So we will write the m in this box. Now it's your turn to do this on your own.